In this video, I'm going to talk about some mistakes that you should avoid as a, a parent, in most cases, as a new parent. So if you don't know, my name is Tamika and I'm a parent of two kids. I have a 14 year old and I have a toddler who's 15 months old. And trust me, I've made probably just one or two of these mistakes on this list. So listen up, okay? Because I want you to avoid these mistakes. And that's the mistake number one, not brushing your, your baby's teeth, cleaning their mouth from early 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 on to avoid the battle of brushing their teeth when they actually have teeth i started cleaning tj's mouth elijah's mouth tj elijah you hear me flop between the two he's the same person i started cleaning his mouth from he was like probably three months old or even less every time i give him a bath you just put the washcloth over your finger and you wipe out his mouth wipe his tongue stuff like that and then when he's got his first two little teeth I would use the little brush and brush them so he's he's been used to having toothbrush in his mouth and now when now he has about 10 teeth what I do each time I'm gonna brush my teeth he's always he's always there with me come on if you have a toddler you know that everywhere you go there they're there so he's always in the bathroom with me so whenever I'm brushing my teeth I'll just give him his toothbrush right away and then I brush my teeth first and then I put the toothpaste on his and brush his teeth right after. So therefore, I never forget. See people saying that they forget to brush their toddler's teeth and I don't know how they forget but if you brush your teeth every day, then use that time to brush their teeth too. So it's like a bathroom time for both of you so you don't forget. Next on the list is playing with food, throwing food. Listen, that's the mistake. You know why it's a mistake? Because sometimes we do stuff innocently. I, I, I that's, This is a mistake I make. Shamoy makes it a lot to my daughter, my 14 year old. She makes this mistake a lot. We innocently do stuff with TJ in the, in the, in the, in the thought, oh, we're playing. But then 10 minutes later or a day later, we see him doing the same thing. We want to faint because that's not good. I think this goes hand in hand with tip number three, which is playing with stuff that is not a toy or non-game stuff, right? For example, if you have curtains in your house, I'm using this example because this is something that I saw somebody um, complain about. So she says she has curtains in her house and she started to play with her son with the curtains like peekaboo, peekaboo, and now her son is always playing with the curtains. He's wrapping himself up in the curtains, almost like tear down the curtains. And she's like, oh my God, no, stop. So that's just an example of innocent play that turns into something that you don't want. It goes again with throwing food. Um, someone says they were making pancake and they threw one from the kitchen to the table um, playing with the baby. Now the baby starts throwing food <laughs> and it's a whole mess. So it's just like innocently you're doing stuff, but then it turns into something else. And for them, it's a game. So it's going to be repetitive dinner time. You're going to notice that half of the food is on the floor or across the room. You don't want that. So those two are mistakes that you want to avoid throwing food or playing games, playing with stuff that are non toys that is not that you don't want to be played with, right? For example, the curtain or any other things in your house. The okay. next mistake that you want to avoid, this one is so funny, is leaving your toddler in diapers only. <laughs> so a lot of people have the ten, especially in the summer hot summer days, they like um, strip the baby down and just leave them in diaper. They're running around, oh, they're looking so cute in their little diaper, only diaper, but, when they learn how to open that diaper, they ain't gonna be cute no more. Because number one, they like to hear the sound of the Velcro ripping. So they're, they're pulling it and you hear, Kr! they're gonna do that. Not only that, babies love to be naked. So if, if you leave them in just their diaper and they put down a nice load of number two, poop, then they start to open that diaper. Honey, you're gonna have poop everywhere, okay? So don't make that mistake. Always put, even if you're gonna like strip them down, put a little um, brief or a little underpants. They have sizes for them that you can put over 
the diaper just to keep it in place so that they don't take it off and throw it away. The next mistake that a lot of people make, especially this one is for new moms. I am not, I'm not even joking. This one is for new moms. So, you know, you found out that you're pregnant and you start baby shopping, buying all the cute stuff, but then you don't realize, oh, I need to baby proof. When I say baby proof, not only are you gonna buy the bumper for the like the table points and for the cabinets, like I, I'm not even a new mom and I still don't baby proof a lot of stuff. Like all I do is take away dangerous stuff. So for example, Elijah is getting into my cabinets. Me, that's totally fine with me because he mostly go in the snack cabinet and not, not not necessarily and it doesn't mean that every time you go in there he wants a snack he just like to go in there pull them out throw them on the floor play with them i mean the packs not not like the f food itself but just the the packs the snack bags so he get in there as long as he's not bothering me and for most time it's when i'm in the kitchen doing something that he's doing that so he's to me he's entertaining himself so it doesn't bother me but let me tell you one example and we thought this was cute. That's another mistake. So for example, he see us, see us throwing stuff in the trash all the time. So now he would see like a paper on the ground, he pick it up and he run and throw it in the trash and we're like, oh my God, that is so adorable. You know how to throw stuff in the trash. No, everything is going in the trash. I have to, I have to go through the trash daily. To make sure that there's not stuff going to the dumpster that is not supposed to go to the dumpster you know what I mean so yes the thought of him knowing that okay stuff goes in the trash that are supposed to go in the trash because he picked up a paper like a used paper towel like we used to dry our hand and we leave it because sometimes in my house we we use it to dry our hand we don't just throw it away we like put it down so we can use it again to wipe the counter or something so I guess he probably saw it on the ground and he know that okay that's trash so yeah run with it put it in the trash yes that's cute yes that's very very sensible of you but no he's putting everything else in the trash his toys are in the trash <laughs> you take out the bottles from off the corner put it in the trash that's one mistake to avoid you need to baby proof not only the edge of the not only the edge of your furniture but stuff that are on top because remember they're growing as soon as they can pull themselves up and stand up honey everything will be underground everything so all of it's a nice decors yeah you're probably gonna want to move that out of the way and they probably want to gonna cease shopping for stuff like that until when you say don't touch it or leave it no they understand other than that just leave the tables empty leave them clear you don't need all of that not with a baby that's baby proofing next one the next mistake that mamas make all here and probably some dads too because you have um, dads that are full-time dads just by themselves so, so the mistake that parents make is having their kids or their toddlers snacking 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 too much snacking throughout the day I made a video previously on how, and I, I'll link it in the cards or in the description box, but that was me creating a schedule for my baby. Um, I already have a schedule in that I follow, but it's, it's always better to put things on paper, right? So I walk through with you guys how I create a schedule for Elijah, so it would definitely help you in preventing the excess snacking right Elijah only get one snack after breakfast and one after lunch yes one after lunch one after breakfast after that and because of that he is a excellent eater when it's dinner time I don't even have to tell him when it's dinner time for some reason his body just knows when it's dinner time and then he will just start fussing crying and as soon as we grab his eye chair and he start to sit down he's eating he eats he eats a lot He's a great eater. So we I don't have any problem where snacking is concerned. And I myself as an adult, I'm not a snacker, right? I don't just get up and look for stuff to eat because there's stuff here to eat. I stick to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Once in a blue moon, I will reach for a snack. So I'm not a really heavy snacker either. But 
he doesn't snack and even if he's snacking like right now he's taking a nap whenever he wake up I'll probably just cut up some fruits for him and he'll have that so tonight when it's dinner time he eat his dinner up I don't, don't have any problem and that also I gave this tip on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram don't miss out make sure you head over and follow me on Instagram it's Tamika L Bennett just as my YouTube I gave this tip on Instagram if you want your baby to sleep through the night make sure that they eat their dinner so it all flows together less snacking throughout the day better dinner time they eat more and then if they eat more at dinner better sleep time no waking up during the night for milk or for formula or just because of hunger they sleep straight through until morning Elijah sleep from 7 30 or 8 o'clock or between somewhere between straight until 7 30 to 8 o'clock somewhere between in the morning no wake up that's it guys for this video if this video was helpful make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video and don't forget to like this video hit that thumbs up on this video so that YouTube knew that you loved it thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys